there. And so the first thing I want to do is to test your alertness. We will blink. You will tell me where you see them. But we will take a picture. We will take a picture which will show us exactly where those two balls were. So that's the first alertness test. So get ready for this. And then we will do a second one, which is even more intriguing. So now I have to first lower this velvet so that we get a nice dark background. There we go. Wow, with my fingerprints on it, it's not so black anymore. There it is. That's the background. Oh, what am I doing? I need the ladder again. I have to bring the apple up. Friday is always a bad day for me. Okay. So now I'm going to bring the apple up. There is a some metal here, an electromagnet, and so I throw a switch here so that the electromagnet is activated. Very similar to what we did last time. We have to put the apple up, and the apple is hanging there. There we go. So now I have to start the. Uh, the strobe. That's about two hertz. That's about two flashes per second. And I'm going to make it pitch black. Pitch black. All the lights go off. I will count down three, two, one, zero. And Bob there, who is behind the camera, will open the shutter when I say one. And when I say zero, the ball will fall. So you may always see the ball in its highest position. That may not count there, of course, because it makes two flashes in the time that the shutter is open and that I drop it. OK, if you're ready, I'm ready. Make it as dark as we can. Bob, are you ready? Class ready? Everyone ready? You don't look ready. OK. Three, two, one. That was zero. So let's look at this again in slow motion. Where's the ball? Oh, oh boy, that's the boy, you try that t ten times. You never do that again. So now we are developing that picture, and I would like you to tell me where you saw the balls. Where were they, roughly? Where was the first one? How much, how much below the highest point? Only this much. The first one. And then the second one was pretty low then. OK. Sounds interesting. We'll take a look. While the picture is developing, I'm now going to test your real alertness. I'm going to strobe it with an unknown frequency, unknown to you. I will tell you a secret. It's a higher frequency. You're going to see more balls on the way down. I'm not going to ask you where they are exactly. All I want you to tell me afterwards how many you saw? That's all. So count them as it falls. You know you have only 0.8 seconds to count. Bob, how did the picture come out? Wow, you're good. Whoa. You're good. It was very high, actually, the first, uh, the first flash. Very high.
You see, it's, you did very well. We are going to start now with the second part. Is the audio restored? Should be. So I uh, activated the magnet again. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Working? Okay, thank you, Bob. Okay, Bob, if you're ready, ready. I'm ready. I'm going to make it as dark as we can. So all I want you to tell me how many balls will you see? Oh, 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 I have to change. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come on, you're now at MIT. <laughs> what do you think? All right, ready? Bob, you okay? okay. Three, two, one. Well, who saw three? Four. Four, I want to know four. Five. Five, here's a five, there's a five. Another five, who saw six? Wow, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Who's just saw a blur? <laughs> Those are the real winners, I think. Well, I'll tell you, it was 10 hertz. Since it is 0.8 seconds, depending upon where you hit it, how lucky you are, I will show you, you will either see seven or maybe eight balls. But it was a good test. And for those of you who thought that it was only that only saw five. There you see them. Let's count them. Let's count them together. One. This is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is a bounce. So for those of you who saw five, I would say take some rest this weekend. You'll need it. And I'll need it too. See you Monday. <laughs>